New at 11, Columbus City Council passed an ordinance to create stricter rules around panhandling in the city. NBC4's Rob Snead joins us live now from City Hall with why they chose to do this and what's next. Rob? They're calling. This was one of the last things on the agenda tonight. And as you mentioned, it did pass. Right now, the mayor must sign it into law. Just walk down any major street in Columbus and you'll find folks are asking for money, but the aggressive panhandlers are creating concern. The activity has become more aggressive than what it had been in the past, and they want us to be able to deal with that. Business owners tell us panhandling is a daily problem outside of their establishments. Some even telling us they've had to stop aggressive panhandlers six or seven times a day. But with this new ordinance, council members hope to address some major concerns. This ordinance will stop transactions in the middle of the street, make it illegal for people to follow someone who has told them no, put a three-foot barrier around people using the ATM. Madeline Stocker with Yes We Can Columbus says she doesn't think this addresses the root of why these people are aggressively panhandling. This legislation really doesn't address any parts of the root cause of homelessness. The fact that the income inequality here is just so stark uh, between neighborhoods. And I think that one of the largest concerns with this is that it distracts and it diverts city resources away from real sustainable solutions and towards jail time and court fees for those who are really not in need of that. And council members tell me they will review how uh, effective this is about a year from now and then make changes if need be. Local for you at City Hall, Rob Sneed, NBC4. Thank you, Rob. New